It's that time of year again. Rabbits are wanting to have babies and they need a nesting box. I try to rotate the nesting box out every year or two. I don't like them to have the same nesting box too long and it can become expensive to build a new nesting box. You go to the feed store, you're gonna pay 20 bucks for a nesting box. You can build it for a dollar or two. I'm gonna show you how I make nesting boxes and how I save money. First, I start with a full sheet of plywood. You purchase your plywood, you can choose to do plywood, you can choose to do wafer board, you can choose to I do whatever. It into strips. One sheet of plywood will make five 10 inch strips and five eight inch strips. I have them cut it so I have perfectly straight cuts. Here are a couple of nesting boxes that we've used previous years. These are the ones that we're replacing and building new. The first thing I'm gonna do is take and show you what pieces that need to be cut out of the plywood. To recreate this nesting box, there are six pieces of wood that you need to cut out. This right here is the layout. You've got the main piece right here in the center. That is the floor. It is 10 inches by 16 inches. The sides are eight inches by 16 inches with a 28 inch degree angle to cut the angle on there. You've got the front piece. That's about three and a half inches by 10 inches. You've got the top nine inches, or the back nine inches by 10 inches, and the top is going to be 10 inches by however big you want the top to be. Six pieces this, right there. This year I do believe we're going to be adding a small seventh piece, but that's what you're looking to cut out. I take my 10 inch strips and my eight inch strips and I cut them into thirds. They'll all be 16 inches long. every one of the strips of plywood into 16 inch pieces. You can see these right here, this is what will be used for one uh, nesting box. The rest of them are all there in a pile. On this right here, it is the sides and we have to cut the angle piece out still. This is a 28 degree angle. This right here is the bottom of it. This right here becomes the back and the top and we literally just divide this into half. We make a nine inch piece and whatever is left which will be about seven inches, becomes the top. This right here is the front piece. And this piece is something I'm doing new this year that I haven't done before. It's putting just a little bit of a safety front to keep kids from jumping out of the nest. The side piece has to be cut to a 28 degree angle. On this right here, as I put it together, I like to put a little bit of wood glue. I think it actually gives it a lot more strength and so I start with putting just a little bit of wood glue on the top. To buy a nesting box in the feed store is going to cost me about 20 bucks. Today I just made them for about $2 a piece. Made a few extras, sold them for 10 bucks a piece, completely paid my cost for all my nesting boxes.